Estamos con el campeón de Tour de Francia, Jonas Vingegaard, que nos va a atender para la cadena SER. Jonas, good morning. How do you feel before this second stage? I feel good, thanks. Uh, I feel ready. It will be a nice stage, I hope. Uh, hopefully the weather will be better than yesterday, but uh, I guess we'll see today, so uh, we want to do our best. Ayer fue un día complicado también porque la etapa se terminó suspendiendo por la nieve, le vamos a preguntar por eso. Jonas, yesterday was a hot day with the snow, very complicated day, no, for, for the cycling. Yeah, it's true. It's uh, it was a very very hot day. Two seconds. Yes. Um, with the with the bad weather and with everything, it was a very tough day, and uh, hopefully today will will be better. Esta temporada, lógicamente, el objetivo es ganar el Tour de Francia. Empiezas corriendo en Galicia. Did you choose uh, riding in, in Galicia? Why is uh, a new a new race? But maybe important for you with uh, weather like uh, in your country, no? Maybe. Yeah, I mean, uh, I think it's a good uh, good race, a nice race. It's good for me to prepare for uh, Paris Nice. So. Uh, I like to be here and uh, I like to race uh, a stage race before, so uh, yeah, it's uh, very nice to be here and I'm very happy to be here. Un Jonas Vingegaard que no va a correr tampoco muchas carreras antes de del Tour de Francia. Uh, you won't be in too many races before Tour de France, which is your your main goal. Uh, fantastic showdown with Pogacar, maybe like last year. Yeah, I mean uh, it's always fun to race against Pogacar. Uh, he's always uh, very strong, so. Uh, It's always nice to, to race against them. Y le preguntaremos también por el nivel de los ciclistas eh, españoles. Por ejemplo, uh, what do you think about this, the Spanish uh, cyclists? Good level with Enric Mas, uh, young riders like uh, Juan Ayuso, Carlos Rodríguez. What do you think about our level here in Spain? Yeah, I think uh, there's a lot of uh, young guys coming up, and of course also Enric Mas, and uh, now uh, Alejandro uh, retired. Um, But yeah, I think uh, the level is very high, so uh, it seems seems uh, good for the future for Spain. Y ahora la última pregunta, la, la más importante seguramente, porque su nombre es complicado de pronunciar. The last question, Jonas. It's very difficult for us to pronounce your name and your surname correctly. Please, could you tell tell us how you pronounce? Yes, it's a uh, vinegar in Danish. Vinegar? Vinegar. Más o menos, es difícil. Thank you and good luck, Jonas. Thank you. Un Jonas Vingegaard que nos ha atendido, atendido en la cadena. Ser mucha expectación antes de que arranque la segunda etapa de esta o Gran Camino.